faster casting. I prefer the annotation on the front, mainly because um, with the patient on the back, I think there's a fatigue element that sets in. Um, does anyone do suspension casting? Where you hold the fourth and fifth and hold the foot up. Sometimes it's quite good with uh, children or if you, if you have clawing digits, you might want to elongate the foot slightly. You can do that by suspension casting, so you hold the fourth and fifth toes. The issue with that is if you've got quite a heavy patient, um, you can get fatigued very quickly, especially if it's uh, a slow drying plaster, like this plaster that I'm about to use. So, um, preparation. Cloud of dust. Um, always double up your, cast, your plaster. I measure around from the first to the fifth. I'll do it this side. First to the fifth. Cut your strip off. Get that ready. And then mid arch to styloid process. And cut your piece off. Put it to one side just in case you uh, drip over it. Start with the top piece. Submerge it in the water. Bring out. Smooth down all the plaster. Fold over an edge for when you remove the, uh, the cast. This is quite a, um, quite a weak and flimsy uh, plaster, I don't. Drape over the foot and pull out from the heel. This enables you to smooth down the medial side first, making sure that you get rid of all lumps and bumps. Smooth down the medial side. If you need to, you might want to shift it up slightly if you're trying to capture the base of the malleolus. To smooth down the medial side. Fold. Try and move that lump away to the side and then smooth down the lateral side. Making sure you keep those double edges for easy removal. Then, with the second piece, submerge again. Smooth down, fold over, and loosely drape around the base of the foot. At the connection point, just make sure you get a nice connection. Again, going with medial side, and then lateral. If you have any excess material, try and get it around underneath the toes. Try not to um, affect that forefoot balance. You've got a bit more time to play around with this material. Um, wipe off any excess. Make sure that you've got a nice smooth cast. Sometimes you get an air bubble in the arch. Just make sure that's out. If you wipe off the excess, it will dry quicker. And then we're looking to fourth and fifth. Come round. Find neutral and hold. Now, depending upon the temperature of the water, it will depend on how long I have to sit here for. At this point, I'm just going to make sure that all my edges are together, so that when I come to remove the cast, there's not a problem. Now, what you can do, I need to make sure that you don't evert or invert the foot that you're just dorsal flexing. You can plan to flex the first way if you want to put it in that position, which um, you know, other people use for like windless casting. Um, it gives you a, a higher arch profile. Um, I'd open the water, but it's fairly warm, so it shouldn't take too long to dry. 
once you get to a certain point, um, you can just leave it or hold that position. We're not at that point yet. Um, you can tell it loses that shiny uh, appearance and when you flick it, it um, starts to sound hollow. Some plasters dry quicker than others. This is quite a slow drying plaster, so if you're just beginning out to do plaster casting, you might find one that dries slowly or we'll use colder water. Um, other plasters dry quicker. Um, pull your pieces. So once I'm uh, happy that's beginning to dry a bit, release the skin. Want a nice even grip. Pull the cast off and then slide it down the foot and out. If you've done this at the end of the day, leave it overnight to dry. If you send it in, it does take about six hours to dry properly. Um, but what you want to capture is a little bit of the base of the malleolus, so you've got a slight bulge on the side. Um, nice even base layer. Have a look inside and see whether there's any lumps and bumps that shouldn't be there. If you like, you can push the thumbprint out. Doesn't matter too much, you can leave it. Um, it's up to you. Again, if it's in the morning, I'd still probably leave it a day if you can. If you want to get it off um, and manufacture it quickly, then it doesn't matter too much, just send it towards the end of the day. Just give it a couple of hours on the side. Um, always check after doing the cast that the cast represents the foot. So you might want to put the foot again in neutral, have a look down, see what the forefoot to rear foot relationship is like, then have a look at your cast and see if that's reflected in the cast. Because your dorsal flexing and putting pressure on the foot, what you don't want to do is either revert or invert the foot and distort the cast. Um, but that's past the pressure.